Hey, so today we are going to climb a tree and uh, I figured this would be a good opportunity to explain um, the difference between tree climbing gaffs and pole climbing gaffs. Okay, so uh, the reason why we're going to do this is this is a question I had myself uh, years ago. I decided it would be a good idea to climb uh, a tree with my pole climbing gaffs and uh, um, luckily, I didn't run into trouble because I did it on an oak tree, but then I had a friend that warned me about doing it on a pine tree, and out here I've got many pine trees. So let's show the difference here. So if you take a look at the profile, these are both a right foot gaff, okay? If you take a look at how much this stands off, this is the tree gaff, and this is the pole climbing gaff. All right, so uh, the tree climbing gaff, it's got all this clearance. Um, this sits off at a different angle. And uh, a friend of mine that worked over in Arkansas uh, warned me about this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you why. And then I'm gonna grab, um, I'm gonna grab this pole climbing gap. If you were to, and this is the right foot, okay? Uh, if you were to climb on, on these trees here, okay, you start st stabbing these in. I'm not gonna be able to do this real well, but this is just a demonstration. Imagine as you're climbing up the tree, cause you're kicking into the bark, Bark's a little thicker on these, okay? But what can happen is this stuff can start piling up inside of here, okay? Uh, you know, um, you can get a big, big flat spot. Let me see if we can, okay? Uh, it can, it can just, just start stacking in here. And a friend of mine, what he had happen, I'm not gonna be able to reproduce it because this is not a realistic thing, but you can get this in here and you can see this is not going in very far. On a pole, you're into the uh, sapwood. This is just bark, okay? So you're not gonna have much bite on this tree. And again, that bark can get stacked up in here. Imagine if you start getting some bark into here, okay? It starts piling in, you're up the tree 30 foot, and all of a sudden, this is packed in here tight, and, and you can't gaff in anymore. That can take you for a ride. So, Go ahead and I'm gonna grab the tree gaff now. I wanna show you the difference. And now these are, this is not something that I would use because I, guys, I climb only for when I need to. To Like today I'm gonna climb to put the rope up in the, in the tall pine. So, but let's take a look at this one. Look how much this stands off from the tree. Okay, that's down into the sapwood there. Okay, and, uh, and I'm through the bark and into the sapwood. Let's here, come here and show that. That spike right there, see that? So yeah, go ahead and focus again. I'm gonna give it another stab right around here, okay? Uh -huh. So, okay, I'm gonna pop that out. See that? We're down into that pulp, or yeah, the, uh, the sapwood there. Okay, that would have been a bad gaff, but right there, see that? We're into there, that will support you. Um, and whereas, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this pole gaff one more time. Okay, we're gonna go right here. Look down in this hole here. Look at that. We are barely down into that wood down there. And that was a good scenario. This doesn't have a real thick uh, bark section. Imagine, you know, some of these are stacked pretty thick here. So that's what I wanted to show you, the difference. These are a pair of Kleins. These are Buckinghams. These are very, very common. You can find these used all over the place. Sometimes garage sales, flea markets, and all of that. There's a ton of them out there. There's probably millions and millions of them out there. Um, but uh, anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Difference between tree and pole gaps. <laughs>